Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a timeless weekly reading, so whenever you catch it, it is meant for you. I do add dates to it because that's how I keep track of my weekly readings. So this is for April 22nd through the 28th. We do have a full moon in Scorpio this week. And Mercury retrograde comes to an end. Of course, we do have the shadow period uh, that stems from about a week to 10 days or so. Please forgive my voice, you guys. I've come under the weather again, and my voice is barely coming back. However, I still have this cough. Um, let's see. Two sixes. Okay, you've got the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Judgment card, Four of Swords, and the Six of Wands. One last card here. <coughs> and the Three of Swords. Your major arcana here is the judgment card. And you've got the three of swords underneath it. Mercury retrograde tends to bring back old feelings, old people, <laughs> old relationships. You may have had to make a very difficult decision whether or not to take someone back, whether or not to forgive someone. Um, I feel like you forgive them for you, not forgive them for them to justify their sense of oh she's forgiven me thank god or he's forgiven me right i feel like you really stood your ground here i know that we don't see the seven of wands here but i'm definitely getting that seven of wands energy where you're standing your ground you're letting people know that what they've done in the past has really hurt you i just heard spirit say you feel that it was unforgivable whether that's accurate or not. <clears throat> I apologize, guys. I'm really trying to get through all these readings. I didn't want to be too late on them. Judgment card is, of course, someone wanting to come back and reconcile things, wanting to clear the air. I feel like you're saying, listen, if I let this person back in, if I allow this person to come and kick dirt in my face because that's what it feels like because maybe sometimes they feel like they're being insincere about something. I feel like you can't trust this person's word. So even if they appear, even if they appear as though they, they may be saying all the right things, their track record says something completely different, okay? I'm also hearing that you may be getting a deathbed confession. I don't know who that applies to, but that could be someone that is, um, you know, in the hospital or ailing health and, you know, they ask to see you and maybe there hasn't been communication for quite some time and, you know, they're asking for forgiveness before they pass. Again, that's really up to you. You may not be ready to give them that. You may be saying it just for the sake of saying it. But if you're still angry and you're holding a lot of anger and resentment and a lot of emotions, I mean, look at how this person is screaming. I feel like it's not going to come easy. You're definitely going to allow yourself to release that anger, that resentment. I feel like you don't want to let them off the, off the hook so easily. The judgment card, again, you either need to make a judgment, the judgment card, either you need to make a judgment call about something this can also be, you know, legal issues that you'll be receiving a judgment for soon. But again, with Mercury retrograde, as it's here with its Knight of Cups energy next to it, you could be receiving communication about wanting to clear the air, asking for forgiveness, wanting to reconcile. Well, you know, I feel like you're just like, no way, no way, uh-uh. You're not coming back into my life. This person may already be blocked and they're trying to find a way back in. They may send somebody to try to communicate with you. They may find another way to communicate with you. Email, DM, uh, some sort of social media account. Uh, you know, a friend of a friend that texts you and says, hey, this person's been trying to get a hold of you. They really want to, you know, talk to you. Point blank, Leo, if you're not ready, you're not ready. You don't owe anybody anything, but you owe yourself the healing, the clarity. You owe yourself the forgiveness for putting up with someone else's BS. Doesn't mean you owe them anything, okay? Everyone's situation is different, but just keep that in mind. That if this makes you go down a rabbit hole that feels like it's never-ending darkness, 
then is it a good thing for you to indulge in that? Is it time for you to go into that saying, I'm not going to allow this to affect me, but I've got to let it go, release it energetically, emotionally, mentally, physically, so that I can continue to live a life that I want for myself without having any hard feelings, resentment, pain. I feel like you know that that turns into this like gloomy cloud that lingers over you. And if, if this is a person that's about to pass or is, you know, ailing health. I feel like someone may be saying, say what you got to say. This may be your only opportunity. And I feel like some of you will definitely take it on, take them in, you know, into consideration for that. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Uh, you want accountability. I feel like if somebody comes to you and apologizes and says, you know, it'll never happen again. I'm so sorry if this was in love, if this was, you know, family, relationship, partnerships. Uh, you're just like, okay, what are you apologizing for? You want details. You want to know that they really mean it. And they're not just saying it. They mean it. Six of Pentacles, you know, maybe this was breadcrumb energy from someone in the past. And now they've, you know, realized that maybe what they've done was wrong. Four of Swords, we've got the heart here, but you have the Three of Swords here. Again, this can open up this can of worms where it takes you back and it triggers you to a painful time in your life. And you know that you need to love yourself, nurture yourself, forgive yourself. And again, if this feels like it's your only opportunity to say what you need to say, then it really does factor your decision, you know, factor into your decision of whether or not you allow this person your precious time or forgiveness. The six of wands is, you know, always giving me the energy of victory and success here, having a good support system, a good following. I feel like you have the right people around you that are supporting you through difficult moments, through difficult situations or saying, hey, you don't owe this person anything. You don't need to do something that you're not ready to do. But this is your only opportunity to say what you got to say. Then it's up to you. And we're going to support you no matter what. I do feel like you are not alone in this situation, whatever it may be. You do have people looking out for you that love, care, and support you that will give you the safe space to yell, scream, kick, break down, whatever it may be. What is the uh, advice here for the Three of Swords? page of pentacles moving forward in a much more stable and grounded energy environment when you let go of the anger the resentment everything that's been bottled up on an emotional level that can really hurt or harm you you release it you let go you're going to feel so much lighter grounded balance the ability to then see a better future a better outcome for yourself Knowing that nothing that you do from here on out depends on whether or not this person has any say, any type of um, contribution to your success. I feel like this person maybe wasn't there for you the way they should have been is what I'm hearing. Nine of Wands. Yeah, the card of resiliency. The card of, you know, battle ridden and, you know, wounded, the wounded, you know, warrior here. But I feel that you'll shine a light to someone else with the way you speak, the way you heal, the way you learn from it. You set a good example for others, whether that's your children, your siblings, extended family. This feels like someone who really, really did something bad or could be abandonment issues. Could be, um, you know, somebody that you were romantically involved with that... Uh, basically walked away with no explanation or lied to you and then you know you were just expected to pick up the pieces and keep moving forward this could be your energy leo or vice versa if you're the cross watcher nine of wands but what is the outcome moving forward because i really do love this six of wands card here what is the outcome moving forward for leo 
five of wands there's still conflict not getting along if this person is on their deathbed and they pass are you going to be okay living with this conflicted energy like shoulda coulda woulda i should have said something when i had the chance why didn't i will you be living with a regret right that's the judgment call that you have to make are you okay if that's what the outcome is weighing out your options i know i don't see the two of pentacles here but I'm, I'm like visualizing i'm seeing it in my mind's eye like weighing out your options and then feeling like you need to hurry up and make a choice a decision five of swords now you've got two fives here and they are very tough very tough energy these two fives five 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 or five in general numerology numerologically speaking does speak about change and it can be uncomfortable change so if you're not used to expressing yourself on an emotional level this may take a little bit of work for you i also feel like if this person is saying they've changed, they're asking for forgiveness and then they still try to manipulate you in the process because you're not willing to give it up as quickly. I feel like in like you're shake. I'm seeing someone shaking their head saying, and that's why I'm not going to forgive you because you've never changed. Five of Wands is, you know, people learning from their mistakes and, you know, trying to figure out their next best scenario, the best foot forward, moving forward here, trying to put the pieces together. But Five of Swords is having that negative energy, that toxicity, that I don't give an F, I'm going to get my way, and I don't care who I hurt in the process. So for some of you, this was the energy of that person in the past or that person, a person's energy was how it affected you. And now you're conflicted. Like, why should I forgive them? Why do they even deserve that from me? I'm not saying they do, but Leo, forgiveness is always about the person that's giving the forgiveness. It's, it's to alleviate any tension, any anger, any resentment. Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain. Uh, maybe somebody here is a fan of Kurt Cobain, Nirvana. There's a song by them that you really resonate with. I'm, I'm hearing that. Don't they have a song where it shows like a heart on it or an album cover? I don't, I don't remember, but I'm seeing something like that. That may be relevant to um, maybe one or two people here. One more card. Let me have the best possible outcome for Leo here. And then I'm going to move on to the oracles as I'm already hitting time here. Okay. Eight of Swords. Self-imposed imprisonment. But you've got the world card. So a beautiful major arcana here. So really the world speaks of new chapters, new beginnings, the end of a cycle and the beginning of a greater new chapter, right? So getting out of your own way and, you know, feeling like you have no way out, but then realizing, well, you're the one that's keeping yourself there. So is offering forgiveness, is saying your peace exactly what you need to help you elevate into the best chapter, the best era of your life? If you think about offering forgiveness to help you release those unsavory memories, emotions, then is it worth it? My opinion, yes. Of course, you do what you got to do. This is your life, your decisions. But there is this stubborn energy of like, F them. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. And that's okay. Then you got you to gotta figure out what you need to do to heal to release, to let go, or else you'll be tied and bound in your own self-imposed prison here, constantly thinking about that. And years down the road, will you be thinking how you had this missed opportunity? Energy Oracle here for Leo. Okay, well, I just flipped out. Man holding a heart. Whose reading did I just do? Was it Aries? I believe Aries had this card as well in the Energy Oracle. This could be, uh, you know, we've got the Knight of Cups here. So Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a past 
uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, past lover, an old relationship that wants to come back in, wants your forgiveness, wants to make things work, asking for a second chance, a second opportunity. But this can also be a man in your life that should have shown you love and is now asking for forgiveness. So father, father figure, uncle, stepfather, whatever it may be. It could be older brother, sibling. <coughs> Moonology card for that full moon in Scorpio this week. A personal issue reaches resolution. Well, I'll say full moon in Cancer. Cancer being water. We've got um, man holding a heart and the Knight of Cups. A lot of watery energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer season could be, um, you know, important to you. So middle of summer. This person could have been a Cancer or is a Cancer. You could have Cancer in your chart. But whatever this personal issue is, that maybe you thought that you have put it behind you and it resurfaces um, in recent times that now you're kind of forced to deal with, it will reach a resolution. Whether you're ready for it or not is what Spirit is saying. I'm going to pull one more. One more for the full moon in Scorpio. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Leo, Cancer and Leo season also being in the you know, middle of summer here. So uh, that time period can be significant for you. Uh, but also being, you know, confident in your own energy, in your own skin, knowing that you're a good person regardless of your past experiences or people that have messed messed up their choices, their chances with you, those opportunities. I feel like you've moved on. It may be a healing moment for you to release any hatred, any anger, any resentment, and just keep it moving. You deserve better, Leo, and I hope that you know how much that you are loved and supported by others around you. Okay, sending you so much love. Remember, guys, give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. Uh, if you are local to me, I will be in Whittier, California this weekend. Uh, I'll be doing in-person readings. Come by, say hi. Lots of wonderful vendors, readers, healers that will be available. Um, the information will be posted in the community tab. Um, if you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot, where you can see uh, more about this event and other upcoming events that I will be at. I also post additional content and let you guys know when I have availability for a reading. And I only have a handful of available appointments right now. Um, I probably will not be opening any more until mid-June, possibly even later. Uh, I just have a very very busy calendar, okay? So I'm sending you guys so much love and support. Have a wonderful week ahead. Take care. Bye.